The downside is that everything has to be imported in. I mean, good luck if you want to call and have Chinese delivered. I think that's going to be a little tricky. Unless, of course, you meet the guy on the mainland and pick it up and drive it over on the boat. Legend has it that the island was first settled by Europeans in 1651. And there's a rock that has a carving in it, 1651, and a little outline of the island. The island itself uh, is three and a half acres, according to Town Hall. But here you've got water and water views 360 degrees around. An immense amount of privacy and uh, serenity here, actually. You can see in the haze, New York City, the, the entire skyline from downtown to uptown. At night, at, as twilight comes in, the lights sort of twinkle on. Well, this is a, a cannon that was apparently found when they were re renovating some of the seawalls around the island. And if you look at the vintage and age of the cannon, it's probably somewhere in the 1700s. You have five structures on the island. Uh, there's a tea house, the boat house, there's the maintenance shed and, and dog house, actually, and then there's the caretaker's cottage and the main house. stone fireplace in the living room is really dramatic, uh, and it's original to 1900. You really have year-round access. This island has city water from the city brought in, city electricity brought in, 8,000 gallon, gallon uh, fuel oil tank, which provides heat. So you really are a self-contained entity here, and uh, that's rather unique, I think. <laughs> 